Hello Internet, it's Vinikin here for a Vinichet number 8. <laughs> uh, so, probably a lot of you have noticed that I haven't recorded in a very long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> As usual, it's always something happens and weird shit has happened. Um, I think it was a month ago I last uploaded, so really sorry about that. Don't shoot me, please. I love every last one of you. I've just been busy and... Here, let me explain real quick. Um, <laughs> I was gonna upload a video about a month ago. And then I ended up being in St. Louis for a week, and then I got back, and then I was trying to get up a couple of all the homework I had from St. Louis, and then I just got lazy the week after that, and then this week I've been vomiting. That's always good. So, finally I am in a shape where I can actually, like, record. And also got a haircut, so I'm, like, glad. I didn't want you to see my hair before I got cut, because it was, like, everywhere, so that sucked. Usually where I normally would drink a cup of coffee, but since I vomited yesterday, I think it's probably best to not dehydrate myself. So I mean parfait, because that's my new fetish. Mm. We've gone over this. I like things I like. Mm. It's really good. Delicious and nutritious. Okay, I'm not chewing. Okay. Where was I going with this? All I remember is I said that I'm really sorry. So sorry again <laughs> for not recording in a while. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get back in the swing of things. Uh, this is Vinichez, this is where I do my bitching and my ranting and my newsing and my shoe licking. Not today, because I did that, and I think got sick from licking my shoe last time. It was not good. Um, and just any other shit that comes to mind, so yeah. Um, let's see what's on my, the agenda right now. Um, let's start with something weird. Boxed water. I did not know this was a thing. Apparently you can buy water in boxes now, and it's eco-friendly. Where 76% of this box is composed of renewable resources! Trees! Well, that's great. I mean, humans are renewable, but it doesn't mean I want to build a box of humans. Making it one of the most sustainable beverage containers available. There you go. Uh, let's see what else. They had some weird fact on here. Oh, they do say hello in a very artsy fashion. This should be like on like Instagram or Tumblr or something. It's just so artsy. Oh, they have a website even! Oh, okay, let me check this out. In sec, we're gonna, we're gonna look at what boxedwaterisbetter.com has in store. Hmm. Okay, I can appreciate this. Okay, boxed water apparently comes out of Michigan. So, the good neighbor of Wisconsin, because if you didn't know I'm from Wisconsin. And so we have the Fibs, the Vikings, that all suck, and then we got the Michiganites, which, or whatever we call them. They're, they're the Oopers or the Elfers, as I put them. Either of them are real good with us, so I'll take that. What the f- Okay, what the fuck? Sorry, but really? They have their own fucking t-shirt? <laughs> Here, let's all just buy boxed water t-shirts. I will gladly buy that. Oh, and you can also sponsor them. <gasps> Wait, you can buy boxed water in boxes of boxes? There's boxes of boxes of water? Jesus Christ, I want this. Okay, this is awesome. I'm officially gonna buy my water in boxes from this point on. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's that agenda. Box water agenda. Mm. <clears throat> okay, done chewing. All right. So yeah, um, that was one thing. Uh, what else uh, I'm gonna talk about in normal life? Uh, I got this awesome sweatshirt. <laughs> so yeah, here's a little plug for the day. Um, this sweatshirt's from BrothersCut.com. It's actually really nice. The material is like really fancy, and it makes me want to like rub it on my face. It's that good. Mm. But it's, yeah, brotherscut.com. They sell a lot of weird, like, odds and ends kind of stuff. Like, they only have probably, like, 20 products, but they're all really kind of cool, like, sweatshirts and shit. This is, like, the Covert Assassin's Creed sweatshirt, so it's kind of cool. I don't know if you ever wanted wanted to know what I'm wearing, so this is it. <laughs> I'll make a video of just, like, all the random shit, and I'll just be like, here's my outfit for the day, like, some fashion blog. Yeah, I'm wearing this scarf from Louis Vuitton, who obviously makes scarves and not purses. <laughs> obviously he makes scarves. So, a little side note, isn't it weird that I go on Pinterest a lot? I mean, it's like it's like Tumblr, but it's less bitchy, and I'm gonna get a lot of flack for that. But I think that Pinterest is a lot less bitchy, because Tumblr is, like, nonsensical, but then it ends up being that everything is offensive, so. That's my two cents for the day. I mean, I like Tumblr also, but... In Pinterest, there's a lot of cool shit you can see. Like, you can just look up, like, how-to, and there's, like, so many weird how-tos. I totally did not cut anything out there. 
So yeah, um, I think it's all I got for like personal shit besides, because I pretty much explained it. Like, you don't want to hear about my vomiting. You probably don't want to hear about my St. Louis trip because it's really boring. Oh, I guess I'll explain about that. Um, I'm in this thing called Mal UN. Scratch my nose as they do it. Okay, I'm in this thing called Mal UN, which is basically like you, as you would think, model the UN. And so I got to pretend to be... <coughs> that was disgusting. Angola. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna go and yell at people to disarm their shit. I mean... No offense, Angola doesn't really have a whole lot of nuclear capabilities, so I don't understand why we were in a, like, a committee to try to disarm, like, our own country, but I'm like, oh, okay. I was in negotiations with Russia and North Korea, <laughs> so that was a very fun time, and yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, believe it or not, like, being in 12-hour-long caucuses, just sitting there talking to people, like, pretty much starving yourself while you're trying to get, like, one resolution pass, like, goddamn. But it's fun, actually, <laughs> believe it or not. So, yeah, I spent a week doing that, and I was in St. Louis. Pretty awesome, I'll say that. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, I think it's good enough for me. Let's talk about the gaming news that everyone cares about. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Evolve! Because I just like bitching about that. Um, It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, from the looks of it. I still don't own it. I'm boycotting that game. I'm not into their DLC bullshit. I'm so sick of this. DLC with a PLC. Just like Dan Bull. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so I saw it, and it's like, eh, you get three monsters, and you get, like, a couple more classes than they said you were going to start out with, but still, it just, uh, uh, the game doesn't look good. The, the, how they're marketing it and everything, just, don't like it. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm a big Zelda nerd. Apparently they're talking, there's, like, this Q&A thing with the Happy Mask Salesman that Nintendo kind of set up, and it was over, like, Miiverse. I didn't, I wasn't participating in it, but I just read an article on it. Apparently they said that there might be some relationship between Majora's Mask and the new game, which would support the idea of it being a game that takes place after Flat Princess, because for those who don't know, I don't know that there's like the whole split timeline. So then there's Ocarina of Time, and there's the child and adult timeline, and on the child timeline you have Majora's Mask, and then, so which is kind of cool because they just remade it, love it, and then after that comes Twilight Princess, because the hero from Majora's Mask dies because the hero after they get Twilight Princess. Well... They're saying that potentially Twilight... There's been a lot of theories about that Twilight Princess is going to be, like, the game that's going to have a precursor to the new one. Which, I mean, I wouldn't be against, but if you had the mask, it would make sense. Because, I mean, Termina would be in that timeline then. It's just would be out of order a little bit, because we'd be going from Termina to Hyrule back to Termina, potentially, or importing this from Termina. But, yeah, it's kind of cool. If they did bring the mask mechanic back, I would love that. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be masks, maybe they do rings like they did in the Oracle games, I don't know, I just think it's kind of awesome having, like, the mask kind of idea, where you can kind of change it, your character... <clears throat> Jesus Christ, get granola stuck in my throat right now. Boxed water to save me. <clears throat> well, I'm looking forward to it, Zelda Wii U looks awesome, although on the downside from the sounds of it, they're gonna make Zelda Wii U, and they're just gonna release a new console, because the Wii U wasn't built right, which is dumb, I mean... <sighs> I mean, I, I went and I bought your special edition console. What more do you want from me? I mean, I was going to buy a Zelda XL. I mean, a, Zelda, a 3DS XL also. Well, no, 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 I don't like the XLs. I was going to buy a 3DS, like, new 3DS version. But the thing was, I was like, eh, I don't know. I mean, I don't like the decals, and I just bought my normal 3DS with the awesome Ocarina of Time decals, which I absolutely love. So, yeah, love. That's how you talk about it. You said love. Eat some parfait. <laughs> Okay, don't chew in. Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, Zelda Wii U. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a shame. I mean, I'm looking forward to the game, definitely. I don't necessarily say I'm going to regret buying it, because they're also talking about remaking Twilight Princess for the Zelda Wii U at some point, which would be amazeballs. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And Zelda Wii U is just kind of looking like one of those games that I think everybody is buying the Wii U for. I mean, they could have chosen a better game to talk about. It's like, get the hype for the Wii U. Than Zelda Wii U. I mean, it's the game we've all waited for. Apparently the console was legitimately built around Zelda Wii U, kinda. <laughs> like, they have some kind of function. I brought this up before, but there's some kind of function on the controller that we haven't been talked about that we're gonna be able to, like, hook up with. I don't know. But yeah, it looks really awesome, so... Zelda Wii U. It's like the word of the day. Yeah. Okay, for those who don't know, I'm, like, a big fan of Wolfenstein. Like, when I was, like, nine... That was, like, the one game I played, which is probably inappropriate for a nine-year-old to play. But I played, like, Wolfenstein 3D, and I was shooting Nazis and killing Hitler when I was, like, nine years old. Yeah. And all that. <laughs> well, so I got The New Order. Great game. I love it. I mean, it's real nice, like, throwback to, like, old-style shooters and all that. I mean, just being, like, the badass with, like, a million guns and a bunch of ammo. 
just like running through enemies rather than do this whole duck and cover, wait for your health to regenerate bullshit. <laughs> They're making another game. It's based on the same engine as the New Order. It's called Wolfenstein The Old Blood, and I love the look of it. It's mwah, marvelous. So I'm looking really forward to that. And the best thing about it is that it's also priced perfectly, because since they're doing the exact same engine, and it's a new story, it's 20 bucks. The perfect price for a game like that, so I'm looking forward to that. I believe it is shipping out May 4th, if I remember right. Don't quote me on that. I think it's May 4th. If it is, that's awesome. Because I can play on my birthday. <laughs> May 8th, anyone who cares. Mm -hmm. Random water interlude. But yeah, so what was happening the old blood? It looks really awesome. Like, they took, like, the knives, because you used to have, like, with the knives is when you have, like, the dual wield option, because what you, the big thing about the game is if you hit up on the d-pad when you're playing whatever console version of it, you end up, like, switching between, like, holding the knives like this to holding them like this, where, like, you go from holding the knife like this to holding the knife like this, which, I mean, didn't really do anything. It was kind of just more like an aesthetic thing. Well, now you get pipes, and so you get either two pipes or one pipe. And it changes... Yes, I know I'm going to bring a pillow. I'm on my phone. My friend is texting me and reminding me to bring a pillow, because we're going to see a Foreigner concert. Whoa! Yes, because Foreigner still plays, I didn't know that. Well, I'm not really a major fan of Foreigner, I'll be honest. I'm a lot more into more alternative, modern music, but still. I'm going to go see it, hang out with my buds down at MSOE, it's going to be awesome. So yeah. But yeah, the, like, the old blood looks a bit like the melee with weapons going to be a little bit different. They're bringing, like, the guns are going to be, like, the 1946 guns that we kind of saw at the beginning of the New Order. And so it's going to be like, bleh, awesome. So yeah, once well, on the new, the old blood coming out May 4th, if I remember right. I'm going to keep advertising for this water because I love it. And here, I'll go this way. I think that's all I got for now. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it and nerb -a -derb -a -der and comment if you liked and blah -de blah all that stuff. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe or anything because that's what everyone does and either way, you know, drill. So yeah, uh, have a good day and eat some parfait. And that rhymes, and so it's gotta be true. Yeah. <laughs>Oh, before I forget, uh, a little shout out for Carrie or whatever your name is. Hi. Oh, that's squeaky chair. Let's do do that. Okay. Hey, what's up? Like she might not <laughs> look at that. <clears throat> so yeah, before I forget, uh, hey, it's a little shout out. Uh, I'm actually editing my vlog right now, and I totally forgot to do the little shout out. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, Carrie. And yeah, um, nice talking to you and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna edit that vlog, and hopefully it'll be up soon. Uh, yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. So yeah, me and you totally agree. Yeah, we totally do. Yeah, bye. Internet and welcome to Bring the Chat number eight. It's been. I need to get this right. Come on, it's been too long. The child timeline. The child timeline has Link as a. Motherfucker. <coughs> Talking on granola. <laughs> <laughs>